So we got the Spec before. Garage crew here. We got Condite Diglio, yeah. Jack, and the freaking Spectra. Yeah, it doesn't really do anything. All right, bud. So what do we got here today? We have an SR20 DE roller rocker from an 01 Sentra. GTR. And we're, yeah, GTR. Basically, we're going to take off the valve cover and replace the timing chain tensioner and get rid of that timing chain slap if it even is that. But it should be replaced anyways because it's got 132K on it with a stock ass timing everything. Freaking sick. And we got this sweet freaking Nissan Show OEM part parts. OEM oh, yeah. Part it's all superseded, so everything past the 2001. Or actually, everything past 98 came with this one, but this one didn't, unfortunately, somehow. Yeah, Yeah. so we're going to start cracking on this. Don't forget to pop your Johnsons before you start. Pop John 1. Oh, pop nice. John 2. Pop John 3. Pop a John 4. Big fog. Hoses now, because you probably should, and it's going to shoot corn everywhere when you do. It does sometimes. Those are the freaking best hose clamps ever, dude. What? Oh. Sometimes your vacuum hoses won't come off really nice. And that's when you fuck them to death. Especially when you have like a 20 year old car. So what's the next step here, Condo? We're taking off the valve cover. Don't forget to fucking keep track of your grommets because you don't want to lose one of those little fuckers and you'll be fucked forever. You gotta order a grommet and have to worry about your next project. Yeah. That would suck dick. It's rag. Nice. It's rice. <laughs> With a crowbar. Alright, so we got all the uh, bolts off and grommets off. And, uh, this now doesn't the... come off this easy. Yeah. We definitely haven't done this. You're gonna before. want a stick and go ahead and screw the no, no, good. good. <laughs> nice! Yeah, it probably won't come off this good. easy if you're doing this for the first time, but. but this has happened like six times already. So. You know. Once. But yeah, it's like we like to run our engines with our valve covers off. It's pretty sick. So right, that's a not recommended test. Here, procedure. pull it this way so we don't drop RTV in it. There we go. All right, don't drop RTV in your fucking oil can. Why not? Need to let them. We got to freaking blast the wheel off right now because we got to get to the front wheel drive crank pulley because who fucking likes things that are sideways besides everybody? So. Just yeah, we got sideways like motors in the front. The whole fucking thing right off. Sideways the motors in the back. NASCAR pit crew your tire off, and once you have a blown fucking CD boot, and you just lick all the grease off. You can look alright, there's no like pits yeah. or anything, you know? You gotta get over here, you fuck. Alright. You gotta take off this right. inner wheel well cover. Two 10 mils, there, and there. Slap them on the ground so you know where they're there. And there's your crank pulley. It's gonna be a... 15 sixteenths, or actually one and one sixteenth, and you're gonna to want to turn it count or clockwise until your top dead center, which we will show you in a second. And not to be confused with that pulley, because that doesn't do anything. So Connor, why did we take off the uh, wheel well down there and turn the crank pulley? We were checking to get it to top dead center, and if you come over here, you can see there's timing marks on the cam sprockets. The right one, exhaust side, you want to be 12 o'clock. Intake side, you want to be 10 o'clock. You want to just point out the uh, marks there? That Johnson. And this Johnson. That one's actually Larry David. Nice. And you can't. So what mods do you have done here already? Full bolt-ons, four stages, at least eight stage, carburetor, bigger heads, everything done right. 200 shot. Built, not bought. 200 shot. 300 shot, actually. Oh, I'm running a wet spray on Mega Squirt. Got about 400 horsepower easily to the heads. 600 to the cams. I'd say to the wheels about 700 combined if you add the pressure between the barometers and like the battery. 276 horsepower to the transfer case chain. Also, make sure your noodle's always nice and freaking erect. If you put it upwards, you can see. All right, so you can't really see what's going on back here because a whole Connor is in the way, but uh, what are we doing over here? We're taking off the tensioner. It's two 10 millimeter bezolts, and you're going to want to fucking get them, and you're going to get them loose. Could have put a 2J in it from freaking Baristo, and that would have been badass. It would have. It would probably be automatic, but it would still be No, nah, then you just do a R154 swap. Yeah, that's only four grand. Ooh, we should probably zip tie these on there just in case. I mean, it's not going to really jump, but I want to make sure. Oh, yeah, always zip tie your transmission together. 
So we're gonna zip tie these transfer case chain so we don't slip out of four wheel drive. <laughs> We're going to zip tie these sprockets together so that it doesn't move from top dead center while we're moving the tensioner. Yeah, we well, more to, don't, more we want to so, make sure it stays well, it, in four-wheel drive. It doesn't matter about top dead center. It matters about jumping a tooth. That Where are also. the zip ties? You're going to want to oil up your O-ring when you shove this bad boy back in there like a dirty whore. No, always go in dry. Make <laughs> sure the pin is holding the tensioner in when you put it in there. And you're going to drop that pin by cranking the engine a half a turn. Obviously, once the zip ties are off, because you don't want to be a fucking retard. Make sure you always get your nice recycled batteries. Don't forget them. Never check too many times. And that's the pin right there that you're looking for. And that's top bottom center. Top bottom center. And here's a yellow John. Which I don't... All right, so now we gotta shave off this old fucking gross RTV. It's like probably like six days old. Yeah, like six days old RTV. Make sure you throw it on your garage floor. B13s look headier, dude. Yeah, they do. They're square. Yeah, those things are sesh. All right, you got that, John? Yeah. No, I'll do it. Time to lube up. So what are we doing here? You put the what? RTV on each cam lobe. And yeah. that gives you extra horsepower. Dump RTV on every cam lobe. And then put it on the freaking chain and it quiets it down a little. That's a yeah. good freaking backyard trick. Keeping your motor sesh. You want to get it in all the corners that are fucked. All the big old freaking whoop dee whoops. And especially in the corners and on those big lobby thingies. He means these big lobby thingies. No. No. Nope. These big lobby thingies. And, the and ones also the ones that are Also right. these big lobby thingies and <laughs> that big lobby lobe. thingy. Get on the cam lobes. That's a joke. You could put it on the cam lobes, I guess. If you really wanted to. Try not to dump it all in your valve cover and tear down. Only the some is good. It's probably not ideal, but like, you could try it. It might help quiet it down a little bit. Especially for those long rides to like New Hampshire and shit. Yeah, it's heady. People in New Hampshire love putting RTV in their cams. Make sure you get extra busty like Pamela Anderson on P-Hub. Yeah, you gotta get this freaking guy popped back down yonder. Make sure you, you don't it. stick it on top of any of your freaking stupid hoses. Can I use your, uh, your napkin right now? No. no. Idiot. Alright, now good tip is when you're installing a valve cover, make sure you use a half inch impact gun to yep. snug down the bolts, that way you don't get any leaks out the side. Any smaller than a half inch will not suffice. Yeah, it's gotta be half inch. Sometimes I've seen people use three quarters, so it's really up to you. If I've seen a whole inch, inch actually. Inch impactor? Yeah. Yeah, it's real. Yep. How snug would you say these bolts have to be here? One freaking click from your good old trusty Craftsman Impactor. No, it's supposed to be, I looked up the specs, I think it's 260 foot pounds. Something About like right. That. I think I read that on a forum. Yeah. That's, oh, that's a real JDM GTIR. I wish, bro. <laughs> if I had one, I'd put a Koenigan sticker on the freaking valve cover. <laughs> oh, that is nice. Go in the fucking hole! That's what she said, brother. Your pliers. I tried. Yeah, don't forget to put your hoses back on. If you forget nice. to put them on, you're probably gonna make at least 60 more wheel horsepower, so you're really, really easy gonna spin out on the highway. Yeah, it's easy. It's freaking easy. Long time. He doesn't use my phone ever. I haven't seen him in like. As far as you know. I wish he did use your phone more often. Oh, that pop. Mm. Crazy. Hold the fucking in there, boys. And now you're done. Hey. Oh, just kidding. We need to go put on that wheel. Ready? Make sure you got your alcohol injected motor. Whoa. Was this some kind of ad? Justin's an ad. And you're good.